Welcome back. So for the second half of this week, while well, the guys have been out in the shop pretty busy there working on those different rudder plugs, um, I've been busy doing a lot of wiring stuff. So I thought I'd uh, show you kind of what's involved here. So here I'm just basically taking a piece of uh, two core wire there that's shielded, um, taking off the the wrap on there and then taking off the shield, which I don't need, getting rid of the little paper trail in there. And then uh, I put um, a little bit of shrink wrap on there where the where the end of the shield is there just to stop it from ever touching anything because um, it is you know metal and you just don't want to short there. And I printed out the labels that I'm using for this one um, with the Dymo labeler and print a couple at a time to save um, the, the shrink wrap tape. And just slide a piece on there, the one that I have for this particular label. And this, this one is for the ECU. Uh, power that's going to run uh, to the engine and this particular line that I'm making here is, is the one that actually goes from the vertical power unit um, up to the, the bulkhead connector that goes through the forward bulkhead and so with the heat gun there I just shrink that um, the uh, heat shrink there on the uh, where the end of the shield is there to protect it and then uh, shrink the label on there so that stays in place and then the next thing to do is um, bear the ends of the wires there and then we're using these uh, little crimp on um, connectors there which we have a special uh, tool for crimping on so while well, that one there is just basically stripping the wire so I've got two different connectors or two different strippers there and sometimes one works better than the other depending on the gauge so uh, it's good to have two different ones anyway so just bear the wires there and then got these little crimp on connectors and the special tool that goes over that and you give it a couple squeezes there and it crimps it and it's not going to come off there it's really it puts a really good connection on there and those are gold connectors so they're really good quality and as you can see here I'll give you a bit of a close-up this is with the label on there it says uh, ECU power that you'll see here right there ECU power so I got all the wires labeled like that and there's the connectors there and then they basically just push into the actual uh, unit so as you can see a bunch of stuff's going on here I got a lot more wires that I've done I created a, a bracket there to hold that put some ply at the back there um, to support it so I got my two screens sort of sorted there they won't fall over uh, and they're actually spaced the same spacing that they are going to be in the cabin and uh, see everything else is sort of coming together a bunch of different um, harnesses that I've done now so there's two of the different bulkhead pass-through connectors that I've just sort of got mounted there anyway um, back in the shop so here's that uh, mold that Jeff was working on the other day for that closeout for the forward bulkhead and he's got the part laid up in there and uh, just put a big um, bag around it there a big garbage bag actually I think a couple of bags he put around there um, to seal that off uh, while that one cures up so and then you can see the vacuum pulling there is uh, 25 inches and on Thursday morning he popped the part out and so this is the result so that is going to get a few more things done to it and then ultimately it'll be bonded into that uh, opening in the forward bulkhead to close it out because as I mentioned before we didn't need that opening anymore because of the cha a change that we made earlier on which actually in the long run for production aircraft will simplify everything because it just means the forward bulkhead just has a flat surface instead of that big indent in it and back on the wiring I've just been working my way through the list of different things that I created when I did it all in the CAD and so these are some of the battery cables there that's the one gauge uh, cable that we're using uh, for the main battery lines so those are basically cut in with the ends and everything put on them ready to go in the aircraft and as you can see a little bit further progress here now so I've got our battery solenoid um, hooked up there and that's the one that's actually going to go in the aircraft and then there's a switch here which is a key switch which basically just gives us main ship power so you turn that on and it basically trips the solenoid there and provides power so the first thing that comes up there is the PFD lights up and everything else right now through the vertical power is just set to stay off until the avionics switch comes on um, which I haven't wired yet so I actually have to turn that on through the uh, control panel on the tablet um, anyway you can see I've got power going to the backup battery there now so that's charging up and a um, bunch of other different things 
moving along with that and actually got fuel um, fuel gauges set up uh, spent a bit of time on that uh, during the week and tested our fuel sender unit so those are all configured now and uh, so that's another thing done and back in the shop there Jeff was busy on Friday with um, creating this little or bonding in this little um, extension piece there that allows the parachute to fit in so he cut out that piece in the uh, firewall there and just put in or just bonding in that new little piece that we created a little while ago that's going to allow the chute to fit there and uh, here's that plug that I showed you last time that's going to create those flanges for the upper straight uh, skins to bond to to bond to the fuselage so just starting out um, Jeff and uh, Zach just quickly put that platform together it's not very big so it didn't take long just threw it together uh, yesterday and on Friday and then uh, I got the toolpath running and it really didn't take more than an hour and it was it was all done uh, with milling that so you'll see the results of that shortly anyway did the rough cut on there and then just got straight into the regular cut and this is just face cutting those um, sort of sharp 45 or 90 degree sort of angles that stick out of it that you'll see in a minute and so here's that firewall piece and uh, Jeff's gone and just you know done a layup over the seam there to uh, bond that nicely into place so let that cure and then uh, be a fine little bit of trim work and then uh, that'll be ready to go so that's another job done and here Jeff's actually spraying the primer on the last of these uh, uh, rudder plugs so I believe this is the right side uh, outer rudder skin plug and uh, here's that one that was come off the machine there so that's been glassed as well the guys got that glassed and um, put peel ply on there so that'll be getting a spray of putty on there on Monday and get it back on the machine so that um, didn't take long to do that one and next week we'll also be starting on the ones for the elevators as well and lastly a little bit more progress on the wiring um, so I've been pre pretty busy this is a, the uh, transformer that's going to be used to put 12 volts in and 24 vol volts out to power the pressurization system controller which requires 24 volts so that one's basically hooked up to the vertical power now and uh, also I've got the uh, USB outlets uh, hooked in you see they're powered up there right now so that's kind of how they're going to look with a little bit of kind of bluey purpley light there to show you where they are so that's kind of neat um, so yeah I think I've got about a third of the way through the wiring right now maybe more than that it looks like a lot more wiring but there you know when I look through the CAD um, just the way everything's sorted out it seems like you know there's still a lot to do uh, but I'm making good progress and I'm actually getting quicker at it um, and you know sometimes I have to look back through and think oh well, you know I need to order a different bit of wire or um, you know I don't have the right connector or something like that so that slows me down but you know more more of that is uh, you know oh, it's happening less now I would say so um, things are moving along but anyway as I've showed you before you know with the vertical power you can power up all the different units in here and eventually when I get the switch panel hooked up it'll just be you know turning on the avionics master which will turn most of the stuff on here um, anyway so there I'm just triggering on the MFD um, which you saw and also to you with a touch screen on there I can turn on other things so I've just gone and turn on the G5 there which is that one over there powering up and also turned on the GSU 25 which is the Adahara system uh, anyway so I'm pretty happy with how I'm getting through the wiring here it's not as complicated as what I thought um, so things are moving along nicely um, and I think I'm probably going to have most of the wiring all done uh, well before Christmas which actually comes to a thing I'm actually going to be going back to Australia for three weeks over Christmas to visit my family um, I haven't seen my almost 80 year old mother in seven years hi mum <laughs> I know she's watching um, so I'll be going back to visit them and my brother I haven't seen in 20 years and uh, while all that's happening the guys are still going to be in the shop working and so I've tasked Zach with uh, taking videos and he's going to upload them to Dropbox and I'll still be doing um, putting them together and doing a narration and uh, giving you guys something uh, to look at in the weeks and the three weeks after Christmas anyway I um, hope you enjoyed this update and things are moving along nicely with everything I'm pretty happy with how the projects progressing and um, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time